In today's video, I'm going to plan out the week on one page in my Erin Condren monthly planner. Hi, I'm Kristen, and I post functional planning videos on my channel a couple of times a week. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. have a really busy week coming up and I'm excited about that because I'm hoping I will be able to get to some projects and things. Um, let's look at the week coming up. We will be planning week 39 and I don't have anywhere I need to be this week. It's all just the only things I have on here are reminders for some tests that my son will be taking at school and um, just some little things I need to do. Actually, this little backpack indicates that I needed to re-up his lunch money account. And I actually did that this morning. He was getting kind of low. I think he's been just like making it rain snacks in the lunch room or something. Uh, so I went ahead and re-upped that today just so he wouldn't run low next week. So we've got the tests so that I can remember to help my son study, make sure he's prepared for his test. I've got like a crock pot reminder, a reminder to like clean out all my digital stuff and um, a reminder to pay my son's tennis tuition and to do a bank transfer that day. So that is good. And then um, let's go check out the previous week. So this is actually the current week because I always do these videos and do my planning on Friday. So I've got the rest of the day today and then the weekend ahead to finish my list and stuff. And um, I'm actually like really making great progress on my list this week. So um, let's talk about what's going on here. I've got this sticky note that just had some meals on it that I had the stuff for to cook this week. Um, we have not been doing great with the meal plan. I always, whoops, I have my monthly menu already planned out and we just, you know, this is something I've learned before and I remembered this this time. There's way too many new things on this. I was trying to use a menu plan I purchased and it's just not working for us. There's just too many new things. I, I really was trying to make it simple so that I didn't have to think about anything and I could just follow a meal plan someone else set up for me. Um, but there's just too many new things on it. And so it's not really working out. So for the last week, I am going to make two of the recipes from that plan, but I did end up changing it um, for the rest of the week, which is what this is. But so anyway, I just had like a sticky note that said that so I could check things off. And then um, I have my cleaning sticky note, which I've been doing. I don't think the, the sticky note is the magic here. It's just that I finally found a routine that I'm keeping up with. And I, I still don't really know what the magic is. I don't think it's the sticky note. I don't think it's the specific routine. I just think that I made an effort to do it and I stuck with it for more than a week and didn't change my mind. And then now everything is easier to keep up with. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, that might be for another video once I figure that out. <laughs> once I figure out what the magic sauce is on that one. And um, the only thing that's changed is I'm getting my groceries delivered on Saturday instead of Sunday because um, my husband stayed in town a little longer than normal. <laughs> And um, we ran out of coffee because when my husband's home, we, we go through a lot more coffee. And um, so I had to order more. And I know that's silly, but I am having the groceries delivered tomorrow instead of Sunday. And I'm not gonna go to this. So I'm actually gonna throw that away. So um, how has your week been going so far? Well, I guess if you're watching this, it's Monday. Um, so how was last week for you? And like, is there anything coming up this week that you're looking forward to? I am looking forward to just having like an easy week where I don't have to go anywhere. I may run out and do some errands on Thursday, but I'm not going to schedule that in because Thursday is always my errand day. So I don't need to like be reminded of that. Um, if I have anything I need to go do, but really I just am looking forward to just 
spending time at home <laughs> um, and getting some little projects finished. And anyway, I'm not going to draw out my typical thing here. Um, I'm just gonna do a list, kind of like I did this week, but I'm actually gonna use my planner and write it on the page. And um, we're gonna do two columns. We're gonna do to-do list down the side and then just break out some smaller things here. Um, you may have noticed I have these over here. And I got these during a recent Planner Kate Warehouse Wednesday and I realized that I think I went a little bit overboard especially because I'm trying to not purchase a bunch of stickers. I just, you know, if you watched my recent sticker organization video, one of my tips was to like, don't be tempted to buy stickers just because they're cute or they're on sale. And well, I didn't follow my own advice there. I do have a clear <laughs> plan for using these though. Um, I wanted another option for my um, dashboards and I wanted these specifically because I want to put a little more structure into my to-do list down the side of my monthly and then um, I like to use cute headers to organize my dashboard because the new Erin Condren dashboard I kind of need to change up the titles and so I just use the sticker to cover that up anyway um, so I have a few different options for header styles and now I have three and I need to stop buying more because I have like the R scripts and then I have let's see these um, kit font I think they are I can't remember to be honest but like I have these I have the R scripts and now I have these. So I, I am good um, on headers and I need to cool it there. And so I wanna actually use these on my weekly plan this week, um, just because there's some that I know, um, like these gray ones are not gonna get used really. And so I'm gonna try to use them on my weekly cause they're not gonna match a monthly. I thought about doing the black, but next month is Halloween. And if I use these next month, I might use like the orange and black ones together just to have a fun look. But let's just use the gray ones here and be a little bit boring, I guess you could say. Um, we could take one of these um, washies and put it up at the top. What do you think? Um, I probably have some already off of the page here. Is that the same thing? Yeah, let's just use one of these. And um, I'm gonna have to pick this up. We'll just get some fun color up at the top and we're gonna use the gray headers for the rest. The rest of the page and not worry about too much color. All right, and then just put this right back in the center. Okay, and let's, I'm not gonna draw a line or anything, um, but let's just put these down. So I want, let's just use the light gray and we'll put the to-do here. Um, let's kind of eyeball it to make sure I can have these things like straight. So I need three and a quarter. That's the middle of the page. Okay. And I don't know why I'm way down here. <laughs> okay. So three and a quarter ish. So we'll put that at center it at like one and, or sorry, yeah, like one and I don't know, five eighths, I guess, ish. And that's crooked too, but where is that? Here it is. Okay. So the to-do list is gonna go there. This can go over here where I can use it later. Um, I don't need any to contacts, I don't think. To goes, I don't need. I think I said in that same sticker video, I would never buy a full sheet of to-go stickers, but you see that I didn't take my own advice. Um, but these match these. And so if I was gonna use to-go, it needed to match. And here I am justifying, don't be like me. 
don't be like me. I might use to clean. Um, I do want to move my little sticky note here though. Let's kind of just sit this here and see if this isn't where we want to put it. And then I could put like the to clean like right here. Um, so we, I might use to clean school. You know, I do have some things I need to figure out with my son's school. And I could probably put like his studying under that. Projects I might do, meals I am going to do, home I might do. <laughs> goals, I don't have any goals left to work on. I just realized this is like turned somehow. I am having a lot of trouble for some reason this month only. I don't know what it is, but all of the stickers like over here are coming off. And I think it has something to do with how I'm like doing this. Like you see there that just came off. Um, like when I'm using this, the way I'm turning the page, it's just like, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. I need to be more careful with that or just not put stickers like over here. I never have a problem with these week number stickers and they've been there since since I got the planner. So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, um, goals, I don't, I'm done. Like my, um, this thingy, what is this? The dashboard, uh, like all of my cleaning stuff, I've caught up on all these things. This looks like a lot, um, but I kind of broke out some bigger tasks. Anyway, I'm done. Like the only one that's not checked off is my car. I've cleaned out the inside of my car really well. Um, and then yesterday I went to go get a car wash and the car wash place, the, the car wash didn't work. So <laughs> that didn't get checked off yet, but um, the inside of the car, where it matters the most to me anyway, is super clean. Um, okay, and then, so I don't really have any goals that I'm going to really be working on. It's mostly gonna be like projects. So I'm gonna put the goals off to the side. Bills I don't need on my weekly and work I don't need on my weekly. Um, I actually don't even know. I bought this one because it matched if I wanted to use work related stickers in this planner, but um, that's probably not gonna get used as often either. So let's get these back out, the short list. So with home and to clean, I think I'm just gonna do to clean um, because the other things that would have to do with home, I can just group under projects. So we'll get rid of home as well. So let's go ahead and put the to clean and we'll just put it right here. Do I wanna measure this again and be like neurotic about it? Um, we want one in like five eighths again. Is this? Sure, that's good enough. And again, I put it down crooked because of course I did. Um, sure. This is actually not correct. Let me wipe that out. I have changed this. Um, so I started talking about um, how I was doing this. So I can kind of give you a rundown. Monday, I do the trash and the bathrooms, and I don't do all the bathrooms in my house. I do my bathroom on even weeks, and I do my son's bathroom on odd weeks, and then I do like the half bath that like guest use. I do that every week. So every week I do two bathrooms, but on um, even weeks, I do my bathroom and then the half bath, because the half bath is super easy to clean. Um, there's no shower or tub and people aren't using that like to brush their teeth or anything. So it's really just, it takes minutes. Um, so that way it's like I'm breaking up the amount of time and I don't need to clean our bathroom every week. It's just, now that it's like nice and clean, I'm able to maintain it. And um, I don't know, I think that works better for us. Um, if I try to do them all in one day, it just takes so long and it's just, I don't know, it's just better for me this way. So anyway, Monday is bathrooms and put out the trash. Tuesday is um, I dust downstairs and then sweep and mop the floor downstairs. And then Wednesday I dust upstairs and then vacuum and then any kind of little tidying type things I need to do or like, like I'll usually, we have glass tables upstairs, like coffee tables and stuff and I'll like, clean the glass tables and stuff. Um, and then I do my laundry on Wednesdays. 
and then Thursday is recycle day and then errands. And I've realized like the days I don't have errands, that's a perfect day to do, um, just to catch up on my list. So I'm gonna put errands and tasks. And then Friday is whatever I need to focus on for the month. Um, like if you do Clean Mama, it's just like whatever room that they're focusing on for the month, which in September was like the front entryway. And then in October is gonna be the laundry room. And then I have this list up here that has like everything you focus on for the month and these tasks here. So that's kind of like what Fridays are for. It's whatever I need to work on in that room and then anything from this list. On Saturday, I do the sheets. And then on Sunday, my son does his own laundry, um, but I like it on my list just so I can make sure to remind him because he's a teenage boy and he is still learning habits and stuff like that. And I need to just make sure he is on top of those things. All right, so anyway, um, this looks a little different to Clean Mama. I used Clean Mama as like a base, like, and then I kind of changed it just because we have a large house and it's just too much to do all the floors in my house in one day. And I couldn't really wrap my head around like dusting one day and then just not vacuuming or whatever. Like, I don't know. I just like the idea of like dusting everything and then cleaning up anything all the dust that you dust onto the floor. Clean Mama was dust on Tuesday and then vacuum all of the floors in your house on Wednesday and then Thursday was mop all the floors. And to me, I couldn't wrap my head around like spreading that out over three days. And um, because I still am gonna, you can't mop the floor unless you, it's like freshly vacuumed or swept. And I don't know, I just, for me, for my house, the size of my house, the way my house is laid out, it's just better um, for me to do it this way. So I combined those three days into two days and then split them based on like the level, like the floor, because um, I don't have any um, hard floors on my second floor of my house. I have, well, in the bathrooms, but those get mopped when I mop the bathroom, which is different than what Clean Mama says. But like I said, I just used it as like a baseline and this is working. Anyway, that was a long tangent about cleaning, but I just have this sticky note that I printed out and then it's for the whole month. And so I can just write the week number. I can check off whether or not I did the thing. And then that way I can easily see on like the weekends or whatever, what I need to go make sure I try to do or just decide not to do it if I don't think it's that important. But um, I like it, it's working, <laughs> I like it. I don't know, we'll see, I'll just keep doing it until it's not working anymore. And then, um, yeah, so projects, meals. We're definitely doing meals and I'm going to write out this list and then just check it off when those have been made. Um, and really what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a dot here next to the chili and the pasta. That indicates that we're just gonna have leftovers of those during the week. Um, that was another thing we've kind of figured out is that my son has always said he doesn't like leftovers, but um, it's really because when he heats them up, reheats them, he just doesn't do a great job of reheating them like the right way. Cause he just doesn't know yet, like how certain things might get, might reheat better. He just puts everything in the microwave for like three hours and then overcooks it. And then he doesn't like it. So if I reheat it, whenever I'm making it for dinner, then he tends to like it. So um, that's just kind of like the lesson I've learned and um, just something else I know to teach him is like what types of things reheat well and how to reheat them so where they still have like a good texture and stuff. And then, um, yeah, so, and since it's just my son and I, it's really important that we're not wasting food. Like something that you make in the crock pot tends to make a lot of servings. And it's just, I will freeze half of it sometimes depending on what it is and how much there, how much it makes. Um, and then I can, I will eat the leftovers for lunch throughout the week, but really I don't need to be making a different meal every single night of the week for two people to eat. And like, that's just, that's just contributing to like high grocery bills and just having too much food in the house. Um, so anyway, we're gonna do leftovers this week and 
let's see, I just need one, two, three, four, five lines. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then put this here. Is this lined up? Where's my ruler? The ruler's clear, so sometimes it's hard to see. <laughs> um, sure, that's good enough. Okay, so let's write that in. Um, I'm going to use that pen. And then meals we're done with school and projects. So I think what I'll do is I'll put school down here. And um, there are three things I know right now for school. And then I'll just leave a line or two in case I need to add anything, in case like something comes up and I just want to make a note about school. Um, so one, two, three, four, yeah, let's just put this like right here. And then we'll have plenty of room for the list for what I need to add now. And then plus I always add stuff throughout the week. I don't know why I can't get these down straight. I'm trying to leave like a little bit of white space um, so it's not just like right up against that line. And so I'm not lining it up on the line and that's what's causing it. So meals, I'm gonna write that in. Um, I'm just putting that there to get out of the way. And then projects, we will put up at the top of here. Here, <laughs> I just, I know I just put that there, but now I wanna see this. Okay, so projects can go up here. And now we have this laid out and this is like, because I don't have like a weekly schedule this week and um, I do still flip to this page almost every day and look at it just to, just to be sure I didn't like add something, you know, when I got an email or a phone call or something, I, I might add something here and then forget about it. Like, like if it's Monday and I get an email about something that's gonna happen later in the week, and I write it on here, I might forget to add it to my week. So anyway, it's still a daily habit to check this. So it's okay, I think, if I don't have the weekly schedule here when it's not like a busy week, you know? All right, let's write in the meals. So foil packets is one of the recipes from the Passionate Penny Pincher gluten-free menu plan that I purchased and I really wanted to try that. I'm gonna do steak for me and then I'm gonna do a, a chicken one for my son because I don't know, he doesn't really like steak very much. Um, let's do this. And um, it's just like foil packets with like potatoes and stuff in the packet with it and everything cooks on its own and it just sounds like, like easy cleanup and um, I'm excited to try stuff like that to see um, see if we like it. And it's easy to just kind of tailor it to whatever flavors you're interested in as well that week. So foil packets. All right, so white chicken chili, that's a crock pot meal. And um, I usually will do there's no reason to have the crock pot meal on a specific day, but what I'm gonna do is I have it indicated here for Thursday just cause that's how I wrote it out on the month. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on Tuesday. Um, so Monday we're gonna do the foil packets probably just so I don't have to um, freeze the meat when I get it on Saturday. Um, and then I can use it up right away. And then on Tuesday, I want the crock pot meal because I know it makes a lot. And that way we'll be able to have it as leftovers throughout the week. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm just kind of putting them in that order. Even if we don't end up making them on those days, it's just kind of like how I'm thinking about having them. And then um, taco pasta. which I'm going to do with um, bonza pasta, which is pasta made out of chickpeas, which has a really high protein count, which is nice, so it like fills you up more. And then I'm only gonna use half of a pound of ground beef for that. And like, 
see how that works out just using less meat um, with like a higher protein pasta. It's gluten-free and it has a higher protein. So I feel like even though the pasta costs a little bit more, it will um, stretch like the meat budget a little bit. So we're gonna try that. And then a soup and salad is something I've started doing lately where I just take whatever vegetables are left in the fridge and um, make soup out of them with whatever vegetables and maybe whatever meat. Um, meat or beans, like a can of beans or whatever I have in the pantry um, or in the freezer. Sometimes I'll have like cooked shredded chicken in the freezer, stuff like that. And um, I just feel like it's a great way to use that kind of stuff up. I could also use that other half pound of the ground beef and make like a vegetable beef soup. It's really just kind of like what we have and um, what we're feeling that week. Um, if there's not a lot of vegetables left, I'll end up just doing like a fried rice or something um, because usually there's enough for that. And then fend for yourself which I don't really need a reminder for that, but why not? Okay, so looking on here for my reminders of my tasks, I've got my son's math test. That's like the quarterly assessment. And so we're gonna have to study, um, study math on Monday. And then we'll do study science. And that is Friday, so, so on Thursday night. And then I need to figure out about picture day because my son said something about it, but I haven't gotten anything. Like the school hasn't let us know when it is yet. Like I, I don't have anything <laughs> about it. Not in an email, it's not on any of the school social media or anything about that. But my son said that they said something about picture day at school, like there was like a, a poster on the wall about it. So I don't know, surely somebody knows when picture day is. I just need to figure that out. Even if I have to call the school or email somebody. So that's going on there. And then that was it for school. We've got digital clean out. So I need to do, um, I'll just write digital clean out. And what that is, is I try to do this every month. Um, it's just kind of like a declutter of my screenshots, my camera roll. I have the way I have my hard drives organized on my computer. Um, I have like an inbox and anything like I download goes straight to the inbox of my personal hard drive. And then, so if I didn't use that file right away, it will stay in that inbox and I just need to go through it. If I did use that file right away, usually I will move it where it needs to go, like when I use it. But anyway, I just need to clean that out and just kind of organize that. I try to do that every month so it doesn't get overwhelming. Um, and then uh, what else do I do with my digital clean out? I just make sure my email is cleaned out, which I usually do that every day. Um, but sometimes I'll go through um, my like different tabs and labels and just make sure that's cleaned out. Um, and what else do I do for digital clean out? I guess that's it, my, my, my regular hard drives and then my Google Drive, stuff like that. So digital clean out, it doesn't take long now that I've done it and I'm just maintaining it. The worst part is my phone, like my camera roll, my screenshots. Oh, the other thing about that is I also do my Instagram. You know when you save a, a post on Instagram and it just goes, like you can organize those into different like categories and folders and things. So sometimes I'll save it and then it just goes into like the all saved and then I need to go through and like file that. And then I like to just kind of scan through some of the folders to see if I wanted to do anything about about it, like if it was a um, like a tip or something, or like if it was about a video I want to go watch, I'll make sure I go add it to my watch list to YouTube, that kind of thing. Um, so that's another thing I need to clean out. But um, yeah, 
I just like to go file all of the screenshots, look at the screenshots. Is it something that I want to keep or is it something I was just screenshotting and like sending to my husband real quick? And if I've already sent it to him, I can probably delete the screenshot or I can like file it into the folder, the, the album on my phone that's like, I don't know, ideas for my house or something like a dream home photos or a cute outfit or something. I can either put that in like for my inspiration on outfits I like, or if it's something like I saw that an influencer was showing about like, oh, this cute dress on Amazon or something like that. Maybe I'll go decide if I wanna buy it or not. And if not, I'll just delete it. Or if I buy it, I'll just delete it or move it to my outfits inspiration folder. I don't know. If you wanna see something like that, like uh, if you want me to go into detail about that, cause now I'm rambling. <laughs> if that interests you, let me know. And then maybe I can make a short video or like a reel or something. I don't know, well, whatever. Let me know if you wanna see a video about that so I can stop rambling now. Okay, and then the projects. I have um, some ideas for projects that I'm working on. So I have a home binder and I'm gonna show it to you here. This I purchased during the Erin Condren warehouse sale. It was the teacher binder and I got the teacher binder because it's the eight and a half by 11 and it's just like a regular three ring binder. And um, this I have been working on lately. I took some, um, these are just printables from Get Organized HQ and these are old, Erin Condren planner tabs that I, I cut the dashboard and I glued it to the calendar page and then poked holes in it to make it like a divider that is named for the month. Um, I think I want to laminate these and then use this as like a write on thing. What is that called? Wet erase? Yeah. Um, just to indicate things that need to happen in January. And I have my clean mama stuff and then I have anything about um, some garden tasks I need to do. And then I have that broken down for each month. So when I sit down to plan the month in October, which I'm gonna film that video next, um, I can just open to October. I have like lawn things that need to happen in October, any of the cleaning stuff that needs to happen in October. And then, Ideally here, I will have other things that might need to happen in October. Just as like, this is just kind of like a, like a cheat sheet in a way. This stuff isn't really gonna change month to month. This isn't for like tasks that might need to happen. This is just like the annual stuff, you know? And then that way I can just flip to that month and make sure all of those things get written down. I do have it like on my Google tasks thing um but i like just flipping to a page and scanning a list i just like that the google thing is great for the reminder um but i really just like the tangibleness of a like a list you know and then i've got different like dividers here for different things anyway i want to finish filling this out. I want to um, laminate these. I want to fill out all these printables that I had gotten and just kind of like get this where I want it to be. Um, I'm That's a project. And then I have um, my recipe binder, which you may have seen that video. I'll link it up at the top if I remember. Um, but it's just, I want to go through and just like uh, I've been just kind of like adding anything recipes like to the pockets and stuff of that binder. I just need to go and like organize it and stuff. And I don't really use that when I'm cooking. Most of the food that I cook, I just know how to make. Um, then there's certain things that are new um, that if I make it and we like it and I want to have it again, I need to like print that recipe out and then put it in the binder because I will need to make it from the printout a couple of times before I just know how to make it. Um, I really don't like using my phone or my iPad. Um, I don't like using screens when I'm cooking. It's just, I just don't, I don't like it. They just get dirty. I, I, I don't know. I don't like it. So I like having the binder that I can put up on my little recipe stand. And then that's anyway, I need to clean that out. That's another project. So let's write these things down under projects. Um, 
So my home binder, and then recipe binder. And you know what I was gonna do? I was going to decorate for fall. Um, and I was gonna make that be, because what, today is the 22nd. Tomorrow, the day I'm filming this, is the first day of fall. It's still like 99 degrees here, and I just don't, it's not, it's not giving fall, you know? So I'm gonna wait till October and then just, just decorate for Halloween for the month of October. And then when Halloween's over, then I'll decorate for like fall in general, like for Thanksgiving, you know? That's, that's the plan. So I'm gonna wait until the first week of October to decorate for Halloween. And the only other thing, oh, I completely got sidetracked, but I was still writing these things down. I moved on to projects before I even finished writing down my tasks. So I need to do um, pay tennis. And that is due on Sunday, which is the first. And then um, I need to do a bank transfer. And I'll put Sunday, even though that doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's just that's the first day I can do it. And is there anything else? Grocery order. Um, planner clips I had on here and I already checked it off, but I didn't check it off here yet because I need to put them away now. <laughs> um, they're in a pile over there. I can see them and I need to go put them in um, their respective, these things is where I'm going to store them. So like this one, I have all of these and then I have one for every month now and I'm going to just, when I'm not using them, I'm going to put them in my um, little photo organizer that has all my monthly like loose stickers in it so i just need to go put those all away and then then i'll check that off and then like i said i am done with all this other stuff oh i can do repot the house plants i'm not going to do anything about the garden this month we kind of had a little mishap um i have green bean plants and one cucumber plant um, they didn't do so well because it was so super hot. So only three green beans out of the like 12 seeds I started, only three of those plants popped up. And then I tried to do like four cucumber plants and only one of those popped up. And so when my husband was here, he sprayed some neem oil on them because we noticed some um, bugs on them that were like camping out on the undersides of the leaves and it was starting to like show some damage. Anyway, he sprayed neem oil on it and it burned them, um, which we've used neem oil before, but I guess it was still just way too like bright and sunny and um, the residue on it the next day, just, I don't know. Anyway, those plants got roasted <laughs> so they're still alive but after that kind of happened I was like I think this garden is just not in the cards for us so I am not going to do more cucumbers or the marigolds I'm just gonna let it let it go and then reassess when it cools down a little bit if I want to do the like the cool crops like arugula spinach that kind of stuff we'll see and then um, I have some house plants that just need to be repotted. They're like the kind of plant that divides itself and that there it's just like maxed out the container it's in and I need to get those repotted and I wanna give some to my sister. So I wanna make sure that they're not gonna die. Like I wanna do it now and then later in October, I will have a chance to give them to my sister. And then a car wash. So let's add those to this list. So we're going to, I need to put the repot houseplants as a project because it's more than one step. So that's something I have learned recently. Um, I did the Get Organized HQ Summit online and I bought the All Access Pass, which I'm so glad I did. Um, and there was one video from someone named April Perry. I don't remember her handle. I'll put it on the screen. Um, and she explained the David Allen getting things done um, 
system in a way that really helped me understand it. I've read the book, I get the like, I get the, the basics of how it works, but like I never really implemented it because I just kind of, I don't know, it just never stuck for me. But the way she had explained it in her video really kind of helped me understand about projects. And I think that's my biggest projects and habits um, and like breaking down goals, breaking down something that has a lot of steps and then turning it into tasks and habits. That's something I really need practice with. And anyway, repotting the houseplants is not a single task. It's like, it's a project because there's more than one thing involved. So for that, even though it might be a small project, it's still a project because I need to gather enough containers to break up that plant. I need to make sure I have potting soil I need to make sure I have like some nutrients for it to help them like grow. I need to clear off like a space for them to grow because they're indoor plants. So I can't just go line them all up outside and it's too hot for that. So I need to make sure there's a space in my house where they can live while they are, you know, recuperating from the trauma of being repotted and stuff like that. And just, you know, so like there's a lot of different little mini steps that have to happen and I need to go like check my supplies and see what I have. I may need to go to the store and purchase like containers or more fertilizer or more potting soil, that kind of thing. And so that is not one single task. What I need to do is when I figure out what I need, then I can break all the tasks out into my to-do list. The same with the home binder and the recipe binder. I need to sit down and look at what those things are, break the tasks out, and then I can write the next task. Like what's the first thing I need to do to start that project? I'll write it on my to-do list, right? And then when I, when I do that, then I can write the next action on my to-do list. That's kind of what I got out of the video, I think. Um, and so I'm really trying to implement that. So I want to get that. I, I just, I, I think that'll help things be like less overwhelming. Um, and that might be like what's going on with the drawer liners here is that I don't know, like I need to measure the drawers. I need to figure out what is going in those drawers. And um, I need to like empty out the drawer because I have to empty it out to clean the drawer, to remove the old drawer liner and to um, you know, just not have anything in it while I'm putting the contact paper in. And then I have to put everything back away, so I need to declutter that drawer. So it's more than just putting drawer liners in. Like I didn't just move into my house yesterday and have brand new, fresh, clean, sparkling, empty drawers. Like there's a lot going on there. So I'm gonna put that here. Actually, no. Okay. Let's leave that here because I do have the rest of this weekend to work on it. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll break out the steps and I'll write it down here. And then whatever I don't finish, if it's still a project, I can write it here. And then if it's really just a task or two left, then I'll write it here. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay. So I think that's it. I think that's it for my week. Um, all the cleaning, all the major cleaning um, is done. Oh wait, the car, car wash. Um, I didn't really wanna go out this week. I'll just write it anyway. And then if I don't, oh, I have to go out, I have to take the car out to take my son to tennis practice. And usually I go for a walk, but maybe I will just go get it washed. That's what I tried to do yesterday um, instead of going for a walk. If there's a day that I've already gotten like all my steps in by the time I take him to practice, then I will go take the car to a car wash. Okay, and as far as cleaning goes, it's just this stuff. There's nothing I need to write down. I've got all the other little basic things done. And yeah, okay. That is it for my weekly plan. Another thing I am, if you're watching this video today, um, Monday, the day it goes live, I have another bonus video for you about the new Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets um, and some other things. I'll just show you real quick. I've got this habit workbook. 
I've got this clip folio that I've been loving lately. I'm gonna go over all that plus the power sheets and um, there's a little quick start guide. Uh, I'm actually really excited for that. And um, it's just in time for goal season for setting up my quarter four goals for October and um, also thinking about 2024 goals coming up and um, I'm excited about that. So anyway, look forward to that video that should already be live. You should be able to go watch it right now. And um, yeah, so anyhow, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel. I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? How did I lose my train of thought right in the middle of speaking? Do you do that? I do that all the time. Um, anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel a couple times a week. And if you like this one, you'll probably like those ones too. And I'd love to see you in the next one. Until then, embrace your imperfections and just be you. Bye.